Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we're gonna get you out of that funk. We're gonna get you out of that funk, okay? So as you can see, I just spent a bunch of time putting paintings in areas where you can see them because those are very normal places for paintings to be. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so today we are gonna do No! <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. So today what we're going to do is um, we are going to... Oh, five tips to get you doing what you're supposed to be doing. Five tips to make you better at what you do. Five tips to make you not be the you you've been, but the you you want to be. So the first thing, that thought you had when you're like, oh, He's not going to be able to help me. No, no, I'm too far gone. Blah, blah, blah. Stop. Stop your bullshit negative thinking. Okay? You're the only one who thinks that way. Most people, when they think of you being like, if anyone does, let's say, let's throw this out there. If anyone thinks that you're lame or awful or whatever, it is a fleeting thought in their head. They don't think about you that much. Okay? They might go, oh, ugh. And then that's it. And then they move on with their day. You think about that all freaking day long. And you can't stop like just talking down to yourself constantly. Nobody wants to hear that. Especially you. So stop. There's no reason for it. Okay? So stop being so fucking mean to yourself. Give yourself a hug. Buy yourself something nice. Do the thing you do when you're alone. For yourself just be happy for like 10 minutes it's okay you're allowed to have nice things you're allowed to feel good you have not done so much shit that you are not allowed happiness that you are not allowed joy i know you think that you don't deserve this for whatever reason but that's all made up pretend shit okay so just stop okay next stop Spending so much damn time online watching videos like this. I mean, like, I'm going to be honest. I appreciate the watch time. I appreciate the subs. Subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Join the crew down below so you can have all sorts of really fun, awesome crap. Daily live streams and all. Stop spending so much time on social media. The only reason why you are on social media is to compare yourself to other things. A lot of you say it's, well, no, I just want to be inspired by beautiful shit. Then why do you feel like crap after you go online? Why do you feel worse after doom scrolling? Why do you feel worse doom scrolling than you did when you were just fucking sitting there Having a cup of fucking tea. We're, we're, we're assuming you drink tea now, okay? Because you're constantly like looking at other people's stuff and comparing your life, your creativity, your art, your fun to all these other people. Because guess what? What people show online is fake. It's pretend. That's not what their life is like every day. That's what their life was like in that moment, on that second. That's it. Now, if it's just people posting their art, why are you comparing yourself? Unless, okay, this, this takes some, this takes some shit. Okay, you know what? This is gonna be three. This is gonna be number three. Oh my gosh, ugh. Number three, when you compare yourself to other people, don't do that, but instead, look at what somebody did and then say, this is really cool. What can I steal? What can I fucking take from this? What can I steal from this and use in my own shit? Do that. It's fucking healthier. Like, look and just see, like, like someone did some piece of art, whatever. Okay? And then you see, um, you really liked the eyes on this one. And go, like, dude, those eyes are... Oh. Just go make a painting and use those eyes. And if anyone asks about it, go, yeah, I saw fucking so-and-so do this painting and I thought that was awesome. Like everyone has heard this story, but I'm going to say it again. When I think it was Rubber Soul came out, the Beatles, 
when when the Beatles Rebel, Rubber Soul came out, one of the guys from the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson, probably, I don't fucking know, listened to it and was like, oh my God, I need to make something that like, is this good? Like I, I fuck, that's amazing. And so he wrote God Only Knows, okay? And, put, and then wrote the rest of Pet Sounds. When Pet Sounds came out, the Beatles were like, oh my God, this is the greatest album ever. We need, we need to do something. And I think they did the White Album after hearing Pet Sounds, okay? I'm not a big fan of either. So if that was a good story, good job. But the, the point of the fucking matter is, competition shouldn't be like, oh, someone's better than me, boo hoo. It should be, oh my God, that is the most inspiring fucking thing ever. I need to do that. And then you go do that, okay? So number one, stop. Number two, stop. Number three, change, okay? That, that's solid. So we have two more here, okay? Two more. The fourth one, okay? We're gonna go back to steal and take. This is what I want you to do. You're a poet, okay? Let's say you're writing something. And then you're reading other people's work. And like, first of all, I would say just stop reading other people's work. Like you have already been inspired by everything that you love. Okay. You don't need any more inspiration. You just need to fucking do something, which we'll get into number five in a second. So your whole thing here is you procrastinate by saying you need inspiration. There's inspiration all around you. This stupid earbud holder that doesn't really work this should this should inspire you okay this cord that does something i don't know that should inspire you this paintbrush should inspire you if it doesn't it's because you have no fucking imagination so look at this paintbrush and go why would this inspire me well it's wood it's really thin it's very fragile but it feels good like a fucking magic wand i feel like i'm fucking harry potter okay this little metal part, it's kind of shiny and it like makes a big old ting sound. There's a little piece of glue coming out of it. So you can tell it's there to hold it together. Kind of like me. Like there's parts of me that I wish nobody could see, but it's there to kind of hold the rest of me together. And then the bristles on top, it's just some pretty hair. Look at that pretty hair. If you can't make a goddamn poem off of this paintbrush, put your fucking pen down and go get a job at McDonald's. <laughs> people, poets, artists, whatever, all of you people, you try so hard to make things fucking difficult. You don't need to do that. Things are not that hard. Just do things. When you were a kid, you would be able to pick up this, okay? Like you, you find this on the ground, it's orange ribbon. Be because like, obviously uh, I have orange ribbon on the floor of my apartment room all the time. This right here, this would be hours of enjoyment for a little kid. It's like, do -do 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 -do. I'm a little ribbon walking down the street, do -do 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 -do. smell my feet. Okay. Like you would have, so you'd draw a little face on it. Hello everybody. I'm the orange ribbon and everybody from orange ribbon town comes to me and says, Oh, could you please tie something together for me? And because orange ribbons obviously have really bad British accents. But the thing is, you need to be a fucking immature child. For the love of fucking God, please. Because just look at things through the eyes of a child. Even if you have to say, what did I think about this when I was a kid? Like when you pick something up, like if I was a kid and I saw this, what would I think? What would my mind do? And then you know what? As you're thinking this, you will realize that when you were a kid, there was no judgment. You didn't give a shit if somebody saw you grabbing your penis because you needed to take a piss. You didn't give a crap if you squatted down and tooted, you know? Or if you had like snot running out your nose because you're a gross little kid and that's disgusting and I hate it. You didn't care because there is no judgment when you're exploring. There is no judgment when you're seeing everything for the first time. 
okay? This is the best video I've ever made. You better be fucking taking notes on this shit. This should change your fucking life. I want comments saying that this video changed your fucking life. Come back in like a year and tell me all the awesome things you've done with Mr. Orange Ribbon. And then finally five, do. 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 Every time you're about to do something and you say, but shut the fuck up and just do the thing. That's it. Do the fucking thing. So you're about to sit down and write, oh, but shut the fuck up. Do. Do the thing. You're about to start paying. Oh, but you don't. Shh. No words. Just do the fucking thing. Okay. So if this was helpful, type hard, join the anarchy crew down below, come to our writing zoom. It's going to be off the chain. And then we could talk about other stuff we need to do. Okay. So like, I hope this is helpful. That's five things to make you not be as crap as you've been. Just do things guys. Fuck. Okay. And I will talk to you all later.